So at the end of the day's filming, um, I'm now going to set off what I would like to call personal pyrotechnics. So I'm doing this at the end of a shoot, so forgive the raggediness of how I look. I've been setting stuff up and filming things and clambering through the woods. So, But we are going to do this because a lot of people want to see this. So I purchased um, both a red Enola Gay smoke grenade and a thunder flash from a local military surplus store that also does airsofting. The smoke grenade was five pounds and the thunder flash was three pounds fifty. They're slightly more expensive online as far as I can tell, but yeah. So we're going to do this. We're going to do the smoke grenade first. And um, I've got a target area that's uh, just going to be set up now. This rolling. So we're rolling, and uh, I may have to get out of here pretty quickly. But I'm going to try and film the uh, thing in 120 frames a second, see if we can run it in a bit of slow mode. So we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm also using a cardboard shroud to try and improve the sound for me talking into this particular um, action cam. So do let me know if the sound in this particular segment is any better. Great. So let's get to it. Well, I think that would definitely give you, you know, some kind of uh, distraction or cover. That was pretty interesting.
This is the Enola Gay Thunder Flash. There's, uh, I don't know if it's, is it in focus? Yeah. So there's two parts of it. You pull off this part, which is the striker. You strike it on the head there, and then you throw it. It should make a very loud bang and flash. I don't know what it's going to do outdoors, but this is just to give you an idea of, uh, you know, pretty much how it's going to go. So with this camera, um, I'm going to pick it up, it's not going to run too brilliantly because I've got a strike and hold camera. There we go. So with this camera, um, I'm going to pick it up, it's not going to run too brilliantly because I've got a strike and hold camera.